welcome to Land the House. In this video, I show you how I made this oak and poplar coat rack. So if you want to see how I did that, continue watching. To get started, I'm using a rough cut oak board as my base here. So I'm going to go ahead and square this off using my speed square and circular saw. Just going to cut a little off here to make sure things are work with a bowl. Now that I've cut off that rough edge and have a nice flat surface, I'm going to mark out two and a half feet and cut here because that's going to be the length of my coat rack. One thing to say about oak, it has a very unique odor. Next, I'm going to use the table saw to rip this at three inches. If you don't have a table saw, feel free to set up guides and use a circular saw to rip this. It's just easier if you do have the table saw. Now I'm going to use a table saw to put a little decorative spin on here. I'm just going to knock off the corners on the face that will be out. And uh, you won't be able to do that with a circular saw, so you have to have a table saw for that. But you don't have to do it, it's just going to make this look a little bit prettier. And the last thing on the table saw is to give the end the same bevel or chamfer as the other side. So I'm going to use the 45 here to do that as well. Now I'm going to be using some 220 sandpaper to make sure this is nice and smooth on all edges. Now that I have the board nice and smooth, I'm using a tape measure to go one inch from this bevel here. And then I am using my square to make sure that I have it centered here on the board. And I'm just doing this every three inches will be a new peg as it goes along here. My dowel is one inch, so I'm gonna be using a 25 millimeter Forstner bit here. And I've got my piece locked down with some clamps. And I'm going to drill a hole that is approximately a half inch into the board. Now that I have all 10 of the holes drilled into my base piece here, I'm going to be using my miter saw to cut 10 equally spaced, I think I'm going to go with three and a quarter inch dowels. And uh, I've set up my stop block to make this process a lot easier. Now I'm going to take each of these pegs and just run it over some sandpaper to knock off the burrs and make sure it's nice and smooth. This coat rack is 30 inches long and needs to attach to a wall that has studs at 16 inch on center. So I can come in seven inches from both sides and have my 16 inch. I'm gonna be using this keyhole fastener to attach this to the wall. This just allows for a nail or screw to slip under this little piece here and hold it up. So the first thing I want to do is mark out my seven inches from the side on both sides here. And this may not be exactly 30 inches, so I need to make sure that I do have 16 inch here and it is very close. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my square and draw the line all the way across at the seven inch mark here. 
And that's for reference in just a moment because I have found that in the past I've used these keyhole fasteners and if the head of the nailer screw is too big it won't go under this little spot. So I'm just going to take a drill and put a, a hole that's big enough to get a screw in this little piece here. Just has to go down a very little bit. Now I'm going to come down one inch from the top and just make a mark right there. I'm going to be using an 18 millimeter Fortzner bit here, right on the center of that line. Recessing just enough to allow a, uh, a larger screw to go under there. Okay, let's get this installed. I've set a stop here on my square to indicate where I want this to go. Place it like that. And now I can use a very small drill bit to pre-drill here. Just find the middle of this. Okay, and now it's just a matter of putting a couple of screws in, and this back side will be good to go. Okay, now for the fun part. Time to get the dowels in here. Just gonna plop a little wood glue, spin it around. And I may also just put a little bit here inside of the hole. Now this should be a very snug fit, at least that's what we're going for. Yep. Take a rag and make sure I clean up that wood glue before it sets on us here and becomes a, a real mess. Now I'm just going to go down the line and install the rest of these pegs. pegs are looking nice. The last thing I want to do is apply a little finish. I'm going to use a stain called Fruitwood 241. I was looking for something that would look similar to a bamboo color and this seemed to be what I was looking for. Hopefully the pegs and the oak will match up nice enough here. If you're enjoying this build so far, if you would do me a favor and uh, hit that thumbs up button. The interaction that you give to a YouTube video, especially mine, helps out tremendously in YouTube's algorithm to continue showing the work to new people. If you don't do anything on a video, YouTube just kind of kicks it off to the side and it doesn't get much exposure that way. So. Uh, I really appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up, if you are enjoying it. And if you're not subscribed, please do that. I have uh, over 900 videos now, which is really exciting. Hopefully by the end of the year, I will have uh, well over a thousand. So looking forward to that. All right, I'm going to continue to work on this. And uh, it looks like the pegs are matching up decent to the uh, the oak so we'll see I think the pegs are poplar maybe um, so I don't know it's a hardwood but I don't know how it compares to the oak but I know the oak is a darker color but I'll bring you in real close so you can see what things are looking like here Definitely a nice addition here to our house. 
installation was quite easy. Just put a couple of screws here. And what you see, uh, those extra holes are from the previous install. And uh, those keyhole fasteners there just allow it to easily plop up here. Wow. Wow. Hi. <laughs> there we go. Previously we only had a coat rack with four pegs and it just wasn't enough. So now that we have 10, we can store all kinds of stuff. And I now have a peg that will hold my hats without all of them falling off, which is nice. And I'm just putting my glasses up there. Hope you enjoyed this build. If you'd hit that thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. <laughs> See you in the next video.